like fools. Impatient people always talk so fast. You wait. Let's see the end of this matter. Now, many of you here, many people around the world, some of my sons, my daughters, have always said to me, when things happen, Papa, don't talk. When people bring accusations, Papa, don't talk. When people post things and I'm told, Papa, don't talk. Oh, ignore. And the truth is, the more you ignore them, the more they are damaging the minds of people. The more they are destroying people's minds. The more they are, they are making people hate a man that the people have never met. You don't know me. You've never met me. All you know about me are the things you read. And you have formed so much hatred, so much opinion. And you will so hold those opinions as if you know me. And you don't know me. I've never stood on this altar one day to defend myself. Because the kind of pastor I am, I leave my members to make decisions by themselves. A pastor should not um, brainwash his people. No, whatever you read, you know me, you check what you read, compare. That's the kind of life I've lived. Am I correct? I don't come to the altar and say, oh, this thing, this thing. I just leave you. Make your decision. If you believe them, you want to stop church, glory be to God. If you want to stay in church, glory. I don't, I don't have that energy. But the reason I'm talking now, one reason. People cannot die. We are killed. And we are in pains, feeling for their families. These are not just people we are working with. These are people that have been with me for years. The driver has been with me for 17 years. Do you know how heavy my heart is? Then somebody will be making comments about rituals. And you expect God not to punish you. And somebody will be making comments. That people, we are, they've used them. They've done this with them. I'm not going to respond to you. That is the life you live. So you think everybody is like you. I'm thinking of the family. How do we get involved to take care of their families? And you are trying to paint a picture, to paint a narrative that they've done something with them. They've done. I won't defend what I don't know about. You know what business you have with rituals. You know what business you have with the devil. I mean, I don't read. The last time I was personally on Facebook was 2017. So I don't go, I don't read. But we have, the, and we have active platforms. We have active platforms and there are people there. All our platforms are active. And they, some of them tell me, some of them just tell me in a summary of some of the things that are said there. And I'm like, people just die. Even in debt, you can't honor the dead. These people just die. Why not you wait for the outcome of the investigation? Even if I know what happened, I will still have to submit it for investigation. It is not confirmed until my presentation is investigated. You don't, the fact that we don't come out to debunk everything doesn't mean that your voice is louder than our voice. We can rubbish you in one post. But we keep quiet because certain of our children, we love and respect them when they say, Papa, don't talk. I was told about a man who says a police officer that did a post that he used to supply me police. I don't know him. I've never met him. I've never ordered for mobile policeman in my life. And, he, and people believe him. It's like before people get to social media, it's like they remove their brain somewhere. Go to social media with empty head. I don't know the man. I had to respond yesterday. I responded. Why will you can't? And I've not just responded. If that kind of person is dismissed from the police force tomorrow, does this Suleiman has made it? So when you come for me, I should not respond. And there's a particular platform online that is pushing that diabolic. Why are they not telling the world what I've done to them? One time they went offline for two weeks. Another time again, they went offline for three weeks. They came back, said they went to do a surgery. Which surgery? I was the one chasing them. 
was the one chasing them. They were planning to run. That's why they gave the platform to somebody else and the person was typing and people caught it that this is not the way the people normally type. So they quickly took the platform. They are planning to run. People think they live abroad, which are abroad. They live in Nigeria. They know that I know them. If I finish talking now, they will cut a part of this thing I'm saying. Put it on their page to debunk it. You can't run for too long. I'm already on your doorstep. They know that. And, and the truth is, the truth is, the truth is, when people get to know who these people are, they'll feel angry with themselves. Young people, who they are, they are calling royal names. Young, under 40. All they have done is to destroy celebrities, destroy politicians. When they want to destroy you, they will post a lot of things on their telegram and say they're about to start talking. So, those who don't want them to talk, we go and pay them. They are changing cars on black men. Young people. When you come out to talk, they say damage control. What did you damage and what are we controlling? Why are you overrating yourself? What did you damage and what are we controlling? Don't watch now. They will cut a part of this video now and put it on their platform. And they will put laughing emoji. Oh, we are already talking. I'm on you. Real people don't fight online. They fight in real life. Make your noise online and I'm hitting you real life. They know that I know them. They know I know them. So they're expecting me now to expose them, to mention their name so they can use their platform to deny. I'm smarter than you. Read, read media is journalism, not gossip. You are destroying people's life. You are destroying people's life destroying celebrities when they come out to talk you shut them up when people when you finish talking people talk listen to them so many things have been said about me in this life a young boy was doing videos he said he was close to me that he lived in my house he knows me too well many of you in this church don't know him many of you don't know him am i saying the truth if he was that close to me how come many of you don't he was a he was a, a like a maid that lived in the house he wasn't even living in the main house was living one of the boys' quarters, not close to me. He comes to clean the room and go. But he gave impression that he was so close to me. And guess what? People believed him. Are you listening? You see, the reason I'm speaking is because so many things have been allowed. Somebody did a video giving an accusation that my late mother-in-law had cancer. You may have heard about it. Died of cancer. Nothing like that. How come I don't have the medical report? How come my wife doesn't have it and you have it? Me, I don't have the report. My wife doesn't have the report. The doctor, she died of wrong prescription. Wrong drugs. A quack doctor gave her expired drugs. And you were just lying, lying, lying. Before you start attacking the man, check what the man stands for. I'm not one of the pastors that believe in stupidity. If I have money, I will buy every member in this church a bulletproof car. If I have money, I will buy every member in this church. Are you following me? Here, in this place, there is a hospital. Is that true? In the church premises. There is what? A hospital. How many pastors will believe that? If faith doesn't take you, you want to get yourself treated, that's what your faith carries. Go ahead. If your faith carries prayer, go ahead. We lift people to their faith. We don't sell oil. We don't sell handkerchief. 